before I went to Zynga, uh, I actually played a lot of Farmville and uh, Frontierville and a bunch of other games that they made. And the truth is, I was actually hooked on casual games for years before I went to Zynga. And, and it's, uh, it wasn't a, you know, sort of like a decision like, hey, this social game thing is happening. Maybe I should make a career switch. It was a long time coming. I really, oh God, I was hooked when I got my first Palm Treo phone. Uh, there was this game on there called Space Trader. And I, I've probably played that game more than any other game in my life. And it was just this super casual sort of buy low, sell high game. And for years I was like, man, I want to make that game. <laughs> That's the game I want to make next, something like that. And, and I was really hooked on a lot of the, the browser strategy games and those kinds of things. So I played them a lot and I, I understood that this was not a fad. This was not just some kind of, you know, uh, business tactic that was, you know, in the, you know, disguised as a game or something like that. But I had played these games for a long time and I actually thought that there was something really cool and really compelling about the, the social and casual space. And when I came to Zynga, of course, I know there's lots of criticism of the space. Um, I think, you know, a lot of it coming from traditional game developers. And my approach was, listen, instead of arguing with people about what are games, um, what should games be, how should they work, how should people pay for them, and all those kinds of things, for me, that, that argument isn't really even interesting. What's interesting for me is I came in and I said, I'm gonna make a new game and I'm gonna make it be the best game that I can possibly imagine, the best experience I can imagine. And if somebody on my team proposes an idea that I'm not comfortable with, then I'm not gonna let it go into my game. And I guess, I really enjoy a lot of the debate that goes on in the game community. But my own personal take on it is, if you believe that the game design community should be doing something, or you believe that games should be going in a certain direction, then take them in that direction. That's your job. You need to lead, uh, not just uh, you know, continue the debate. And so I enjoy being the guy who's trying to take us in the right direction and you know, not get mired in the philosophical debates about what we should be doing.